Good morning, world. Good afternoon. Good evening, depending on where you are on this fast forward earth. Spinning around the sun, still really sadly wrapped in a pandemic that is surging epically in India one year after this first surge and lockdown that I uh, did some sessions about here on the, the Earth Institute Climate School um, Sustain What webcast. And I'll be in touch with some of my friends over in India soon to do a fresh show uh, talking about the uh, issues there and solution paths. I'm Andy Revkin at the Columbia Climate School. We've just had this transition of the Earth Institute uh, to becoming a part of this bigger Columbia Climate School devoted to addressing the climate challenge in all of its dimensions. Uh, Sunday shows, though, are about arts and hearts. Uh, you can't get anything done in this world without sustaining your personal capacity and, and values. Um, and that requires tending to your heart and your soul. And music and the arts are a big part of that. And this goes to communities as well. Uh, I have found over and over again that music crosses uh, ideological barriers. You can have a conversation with somebody. If you start singing, and then get to the conversation part. You're more apt to have progress. So starting out here today with me is my good, good friend, Karen Brooks, who is in Heath, Massachusetts. Uh, in a brief interval between tending her sheep and running to uh, shows, there are some live shows happening, which is fantastic for all my musical uh, mm. brethren. How are you doing there, Karen? Oh, I'm doing really well this morning. It's um, the grass is green. <laughs> That's a huge yeah. thing for where I live. We have a really long winter, so I'm very happy about that. And I have high speed internet. I mean, really, what could be, what could be finer, right? Um, and, and, and you're running for office. And I think and that's running, such a creditable thing to do. And I'm running for select board. And my platform is we need to bring young people here and small business. We can't cut the budget any more than it's already right. been cut. We need some revenue coming in and we need to have young people to help us because honestly, right. too many, you know, we're all just dying off. We're all just older. <laughs> anyway. And having and, and internet access is a fundamental it's part huge. of that. We can have it's distributed huge. economy. Yeah. It is huge. Uh, not to mention responsiveness to things like pandemic and so many other things, yeah. education. Oh, yeah. So good morning to you and mm -hmm. to the sheep out in the fields. Um, what's on your musical mind uh, this morning, Karen? And before you get to the first song, I just want to show you something, show you folks what we'll be dealing with in a few minutes. As Ray Pierre Humbert, a climate scientist in England, who's also an accordion player, he noted to me today that Today is World Nickel Harpa Day. Hooray. And uh, we've had a Nick Nickel Harpa player on here before, um, Lindsay right. Clark, and I'll show some clips from her. We'll tour the world of Nickel Harpa. It's an instrument that started in Scandinavia, but that is uh, as a global phenomenon. You'll see that uh, I'll play some of a Tokyo session in a few minutes, wow. which doesn't, doesn't surprise me at all because the Koto and the, and the uh, Nickel mm -hmm. Harpa feel like they have some uh, resonance. But that'll be in a few minutes. So Karen, a uh, little morning, in, you know, introduction. So I'm going to sing this song of the uh, that Guy Davis wrote, who is a wonderful, wonderful blues player, who I'm hoping you'll get on the show sometime. He would be a wonderful person on the show. And um, I've sung it for folks that are gone, and this seems to be a good song for today. So yeah. I wish I hadn't stayed away. I wish I hadn't stayed away so long Bell rang on the midnight train Carry the hobos home I wish I hadn't stayed away so long My mother died when I was on I wish I had 
just such a stunning song. It's just such a, we've all been away too long in some way or other, one time or other in life. Um, uh, my grand, one of my grandfathers died when I was in Australia, uh, early in my life, uh, on a journey on a sailboat that led to my journalism. Um, too often we're not there, especially this past year when everyone's been isolated from their relatives. Um, and here's Rick Polari saying great song. Hey, Rick, got to get you back on the show mm -hmm. from Vermont. Um, and so Karen, that was just beautiful. And look who's in the, st oh. <laughs> look who's in the green oh, room, Joseph. Joseph. Two. <laughs> Two of my good, good friends and Joseph, hey. we still have never met. And you, and you and Karen have sung so yeah, beautifully yeah, together. Yeah. We have. Jo for those who don't yeah. know, Joseph Pupe has uh, been. Uh, hi, he's, Andy. Hi, he's, Karen. Hi. Joseph and Lusaka. Can you, can you do a song before we lose you? And I'm going to mute. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I'm going to do a, uh, a Peter Seeger song special. Um, we understand we will commemorate his birthday, and also it comes at a special time when it's just past um, eighth day or death day. And I think part of this song, a few lyrics has something to do with the environment, that's why. I and I loved it for the past um, two years that I've, I've been introduced to, to Peter by Andy. I wish last year I jammed it, but yeah, I'm glad to play it right now. It's called um, Where Are All the Flowers Gone? Um, hope you know it and hope you like it. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time passing. Where have all the flowers gone? Long time ago. Where have all the flowers gone? I take them everyone. When will they ever learn? When will they ever learn? Where have all or bandwidth is and I'm glad nature, God and the universe were on our side today. But I'm so excited to be back on the show and to see you guys. And I've been following on Twitter and the show. Oh great. <laughs> Patrick Jones is here too. Oh my uh, God. from Beacon. I can't believe it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, we've had internet troubles even yeah. in, in Beacon, New York. And, yeah. and Joseph, it's great to hear you from Lusaka, Zambia, and Karen from Heath, Massachusetts. So uh, this is just fantastic. Karen, do you have another quick song you could slip in? I, I will. And, yeah, and then I'll go out in the barnyard. This is, a, this is a, an Earth Day related song. Little pebble upon the sand, how you're lying here in my hand. How many years have you been here? Little human upon 
upon the sand I know I'm lying here in your hand You to me are but a passing breeze The sun will always shine where you stand Depending in which land you may find yourself now you have my blessing, go your way. Happiness runs in a circular motion. Love is like a little boat upon the sea. Everybody is a part of everything anyway. You can have everything if you let yourself be. Why, oh, because, why, oh, because happiness runs in a circular I played that actually a month or so ago. It was World Happiness Day. Oh, it's it's so and great. And we had a, a session, and I had I played a little bit of Donovan yeah. uh, doing that song, and it, it really oh, cool. He did it. It's a, so great. The giant. And all those group. parts go. They all fit together. Danny and I used to do that when we both worked oh, with wow. autistic kids together a long time ago. Yeah, it's wow. wonderful. Uh, that melody is so infectious. It's uh, it it's it so is, great, yeah. and it's. We should try it with all the parts because you it's cacophony, but it won't wouldn't matter online. No, I right? know, I know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I should go out. I want to hear you, Patrick, but I think I should go out if I'm gonna show the barnyard because I have to switch my Yeah, it gets set little. up. Yeah, okay. so I'll watch up you later. Over and, it's so uh, nice to see you. Yeah, it's yeah. Really and I'm hoping that yeah. Joseph will pop back in too. Uh, he might yeah, have had so. some internet trouble. Uh, yeah. here we are. Okay, so go check on the animals and give us a look. Patrick Jones, man. So you had had you have had some internet issues, but here you are. I have had some kerfuffles. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and you've also been uh, some some Sunday mornings. You're out there checking for eels that are swimming. These American eels, which are amazing species across the yes. Atlantic, and uh, it, you've been checking on them. I have been doing the count. Um, it's a volunteer work for the Department of Environmental Conservation, and we're pulling eels from Furnace Brook. I tried to send you a little video, but I think I'm going to send you another one and not talk so much over it. <laughs> but um, okay. the uh, but we got about 44 eels, I think, uh, on the first day. But the numbers are coming, and they migrate from the Sargasso Sea uh, all the way up through the Hudson, and they spend amazing 10 to 20 years, uh, yeah, up in the rivers and estuaries up here through the Hudson. So it feels well, it's really great that good. you're doing that work. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm glad to glad to. Actually, I'm going to show here. I got I found a video and it's uh, your buddy Bowser. Oh, oh Chris, yeah. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can uh, show this. Add to stream. Here we go. Uh, I won't have the sound playing, so you can just tell people what they're looking at here. Okay. Um, so yes, what you're looking at are little glass eels. Uh, oh, Amazing. The, and. Amazing. And this is being pulled from right near the Poughkeepsie train station. And I think it's the Fishkill Creek. Is that right? Or it sure looks it's like not it. Fishkill Creek. That, that might be another uh, one, but anyway. Yeah. But anyway, this is directly at the mouth. What you're looking there is the Hudson River. And these are volunteers, usually students um, from um, somewhere in Poughkeepsie High School uh, system that are coming in. And what you see, those little squiggly worm like things are eels. And they Amazing. actually, those little guys have uh, spawned and traveled from basically near Bermuda uh, 
somewhere east of Bermuda, all the way up to the Hudson River, and that's what I find. And there's been a, an international fishery for them. They're sent to uh, Asia for as a they're a very high priced um, commodity, yeah. so they've been depleted by that and yeah. other issues. Yes, well, it's yeah. great that you're doing that, fitting that work into your life, man. Yeah, thank you. It's a real pleasure. It's something that I've I've wanted to do all my life, and now it's a it's a fulfilling my desire. There's to look at those guys. Uh, sometimes they get really upwards of a, a thousand eels. Sometimes, and uh, yeah, it's 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 quite something to count those little guys that move all around. <laughs> so let's get back into the music uh, from sure. eels yeah. to, uh, to eels. Yeah, absolutely. what's on your musical mind this morning, Patrick Jones? Well, uh, a, a little bit of Earth Day, and um, uh, just—I know it's a little cloudy, but uh, I'm, I'm seeing a sunny uh, meadow uh, and uh, birds, sun shining and birds chirping, and uh, um, it's a Hoagie Carmichael too. So I didn't really check my volume, so if you could—that's good. That's good. So it's a tune called Skylark. Skylark, have you anything to say to me? Won't you tell me where my love can be? Is there a shadow in the mist? Where someone's waiting to be kissed Skylark Have you seen a valley deep in spring Where my heart can go a journey Over the shadows in the lane through a blossom colored name, and in your lonely flight, haven't you heard the music in the night? Wonderful music, faint as a will of the wisp, crazy as a loon. Sad as a gypsy, You're having some trouble, serenading the moon. No, Skylark, I don't know if I can find these uh, things, folks, uh, we... but my heart is riding on your wings. So if you see them anywhere. Won't you lead me there? Yes, in your lonely flight, haven't you heard the music in the night? Wonderful music, faint as a will-o'-wisp, crazy as a loon, sad as a gypsy, serenading the moon. Oh, Skylark, I don't know if you can find these things, but my heart is riding on your wing. 
So if you see them anywhere, won't you lead me there? Skylark. So nice, Patrick. <laughs> Thank Beautiful. you. I think the sheep liked it too. I heard one of them say, yeah. <laughs> now, now you can really hear them. <laughs> so I, in the middle of that, I lost my internet connection, but it looks like everyone, it, it stuck we in there for here. you. Yeah, I think it was okay. That's you fantastic. Disappeared. Oh, wow, well, look at this. Good morning, Mama. Wow, look at that. Oh. Good wow. morning, Mama. Oh, there's a, there's one of the little babies. Yeah, that's the one Melissa and I pulled out, the big breech baby. Amazing. Her mother doesn't really want anything to do with her. She just wants food. Yeah. So tell me about the uh, the color variations. I didn't realize there were so many uh, sheep variations. <laughs> well, yeah. I have my sheep are mutts. They are mutts, and I wonder if the word mutton came from that. I don't know. Oh, interesting. <laughs> but I, um, the tunis, the the red, the orange red is a Tunis breed, was the one of the oldest breeds in this country that was given to Thomas Jefferson by the King of France. And oh. they're a particularly unusual breed. They're a heritage breed. They're, they, I really shouldn't even have them in the mix, but I love the color, but they're not as sturdy as some of the, some of the oh. other ones. So here are the bottle babies who are looking really chunky. And though they're the twins that were the orphans um and they just follow me i mean it's just like i can't get away from them <laughs> oh wow yeah so uh anyway so yeah different colors and also um what's sort of interesting is black is the natural color for sheep oh and white is hmm. the recessive gene and there have been like millions of college studies done on sheep coloring which is wild if you look it up it's like wow they've done so much genetics work with the color so, genetics, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, they use it as a basis for a lot of genetic studies. Yeah. Anyway. Wow. All right. Well, I should let you get back to music and I No, this is really cool. Place. This is all really cool. <laughs> yeah, please. Yeah. More sheep. <laughs> More sheep. There's a lot of them. There's 25 babies. Okay. And I, wow. I lost those two mothers, but uh yeah, look at the little tiny ones. And those are little twin girls that were just humping each other. That they don't they don't care. They're just wow. very cute. <laughs> These guys are nibbling, but they have to wait. Uh, yeah, see, they're trying yeah. to—they're trying to eat me because they're hungry, oh. always hungry. <laughs> oh they boy! Have to oh wait. boy! Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I love well, the sound so too. Yeah, it's very peaceful. It's and the, see the green grass, how nice and green it is. Oh my goodness, it's a long winter here. So here comes. First, and we have oh, a new uh, a new oh, guest, cool. uh, a friend of Reggie Harris, uh, hey. Matt. Can you, can you introduce yourself? Sure. Right now, I'm sort of uh, just sort of hypnotized by the sheep. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Not your average song session. Yeah. <laughs> no, but that's beautiful music they were making. My, uh, my name is Matt Watroba. I am indeed a friend of Reggie Harris's. We uh, do a lot of stuff together. We have one of the things that I, I love the most is we uh, we do this thing called the Living Legacy Project, where we lead songs on a bus. Uh, down in the in the area of the civil rights movement down in Mississippi and Alabama. And one of the things that Reggie and I both do is get people to sing. So we have them singing civil rights songs as they visit and meet people uh, along the way. And I, I kind of champion myself uh, a community singer. I really have spent a lot of time trying to bring people together uh, just to sing, uh, just for the pure purpose and healing power of singing together. And I'm also a songwriter and a folk music DJ for the last 30 years on public radio. So I've pretty much immersed myself in this music for many, many, many decades. And here is the uh, Living Legacy Project. Oh, great. It's a wonderful that, thing. That's such a fantastic, uh, just, just a little while ago at the beginning of the show, I was talking about how when you start with music, when you start a conversation with music, you can cross all, so many barriers and, and, and then you can kind of get into issues. But yeah. starting with music feels like it's just a great uh, way to get going. I really do think it taps into something very deep in all of us, you know, where, you know, that maybe is is even underneath all the issues. You know, it's that kind of commonplace uh, and has been for centuries. Wow. 
And where, so where are you, where do you live? Where are you based? I'm in Detroit. Have you heard good things? <laughs> well, Detroit is is, I love is Detroit. <laughs> it's a phoenix rising. It is, <laughs> and uh, industrial the sort of post industrial challenges uh, there are every are in so many places as well. So yeah, I've lived in this area my whole life, and uh, and I love it. It's uh, it's yeah. it's got a spirit uh, like no, no other city I've ever been to, and I've been to a lot. Yeah, and I see Reggie's in the green room. Um, Finishing up his coffee and donuts. No, just kidding. <laughs> He'll be joining us in a second. And uh, uh, and Patrick Jones again. It's great to have you here from the Hudson yes. Valley, my good friend. Yeah. Uh, so hold on. Reggie's almost ready. But hey, so uh, Matt, could you uh, kick off uh, with a song? Just a quick sort of a what's on your musical mind as you join our, our little crazy gaggle here? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm going to try a song I, I I just wrote fairly recently. Um, you know, it's so interesting to write a song like this because um, it's, it's actually a song that talks about how words are inadequate. <laughs> and yet it's what I have to write the song with. So uh, mm -hmm. it's a song, I don't even have a title yet. There is no word for the coming of the dawn that casts its spell with you upon the lawn. Language fails and meaning is blurred for the dawn. There is no word. There is no word for the color of the sky. A paintbrush stroke the sun will amplify. To add your voice would be absurd for the sky. There is no word. But we talk, talk, talk of the way it makes us feel And we think, 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 but none of it is real We might find out that our soul will be revealed When we learn to just be still There is no word for the whisper of the wind no need to ask where it's going, where it's been. It's just not like any song you've ever heard. For the wind, there is no word. But we talk, talk, talk of the way it makes us feel. And we think, 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 but none of it is real. We might find out that our soul will be revealed when we learn to just be still. There is no word for the look that's in your eye, splashed with light and color from the sky, deep and dark like the shadow of a bird for your eyes. There is no word, but we talk, talk, talk of the way it makes us feel, and we think, 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 but none of it is real. I find out that our soul will be revealed when we learn to just be still. Yes, we might find out that our soul will be revealed when we learn to just be still. Beautiful. <laughs> Some resonance to, to me, there's resonance there with there's the gift to be simple. Yeah. Especially you know, that last part. Pete Seeger said the greatest thing. He said, you know, when he writes songs, he always has this in mind. He says, I strive for simplicity, then I learn to mistrust it. And I always thought, <laughs> it's the hardest thing in the world. I think Reggie can tell Ooh, you, I, I write a simple song. I don't remember that. That's a great line. <laughs> I love my friend Pete. I miss him so much. We all do. Oh, I do yeah, too. we all do. I strive for simplicity, but... Then learn to again? mistrust it. <laughs> I'm writing this down if you hear me typing. <laughs> yeah, complexity complexity is simple too in its own special way. That is so perfect. Oh my God. And uh, here's Andre Kudrescu, uh, the poet, who is uh, Hello, Paul. scheduled for this Good conversation too. Good morning. Good morning yeah. to all of you. Um, and Matt, it's great to have you join our little merry band here. Um, I love what you're doing. This is such a great thing. And Andre, I'm a big fan of all the work you've done at NPR, especially. And oh, thanks. It's nice to meet you. Thank and you. And Matt, Matt, which uh, which station are you? Uh, what's your home base for your radio? My home base now is at Michigan State Public Radio oh. in Lansing, WKAR. But for many, many, many years, I was host of a folk music show on WDET out of Detroit. Mm, yeah. Very cool. 
my first city of uh, when I came to America. Was Detroit. Oh, right. Detroit, oh, yeah. Right. Detroit in 1966 was quite the city. Oh, Nin nothing was going on back then. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I turned around, the, the, the Jose Feliciano was on the radio singing, uh, um, come on, baby, light my fire. And then a few minutes later, the city went up in flames. Great place I, to don't be think, I don't think that's what he had in mind. <laughs> in hindsight, he could have picked medium. Or <laughs> could have picked a song about, you know, flowers or something. <laughs> he, also, he also got in trouble around that time when he sang the national anthem for the Detroit mm. Tigers because he jazzed it up right. so much. They just weren't. Oh, them. say, can you see? <laughs> I remember that game. <laughs> Yeah, they, oh God. You know, I Robert heard Klein. MC5, Robert I Klein. heard for the first time there. The MC5 were, uh, you know, oh. singing Motor City is Burning. It was an incredibly interesting time to be young. And, uh, and, and well, especially uh, coming from Detroit. Eastern Europe at that time. You know, well, I, told, <laughs> I told everybody I was a French poet, you know, and I, was like, <laughs> I didn't even know if anybody knew what Romania was or, you know. So, um, <laughs> I, I saw it Andre, you know, with an accent and Podresco, you know, with an O. And I, my first appearance was on one of those illegible psychedelic posters by Gary Grimshaw. Oh, yeah. The main act was the MC5, and then there's some, you know, minor happenings like the, the French poet Andre. <laughs> <laughs> so That's how long cool. how long were you in Detroit? Andre? I was there for t uh, two years, uh, but you know, they were amazing because they're formative. I didn't speak English, you know, I learned everything there. Wow. So, someone just, uh, someone with a, uh, a inscrutable uh, hashtag there, Path uh, Pathamba, says Pete Seeger said it takes a genius to simplify things. Any darn fool can make complex stuff. <laughs> That's oh, interesting. Hey, yeah. <laughs> another, yet another Pete Seegerism. Wow, well, this is great. What a, what a neat kind of a little intersection here. Um, uh, we'll get to Reggie in a song in a, in a second too. But Andre, do you have a poem that comes to mind with this? All this. Uh, well, you know, the re yeah, the reentry has been hard, you know, because uh, the weather is so beautiful. The flowers are all around, and they don't totally correspond to the inner weather. You know, I mean, I see people coming out, and they're not quite sure, you know, what how to you know, do this and that. So I wrote uh, a couple of short works now, but one is called Memory because it seems to, to I don't know, diminish or uh, have another form. Memory, I forgot the secret places, but the keys are there. Also the passports and the plane tickets. We're all the same en route and passing through the walls. What I saw was your comma and what you saw was my coda. And that had to do with the fact that I had all these gigs and things, to, you know, tickets. I still have plane tickets from the time when they locked us up. So, where we yeah. locked ourselves up, not sure. And then the other thing is just this, the, this, you know, time. We, I think we should have a different kind of mechanism that measures time in, in days of crisis like this or in, you know, in disaster. So I. This, this is a before and after promises. Before COVID, before COVID, before the internet. Hair before and after, the many befores of history, the many afters of life, Ovid before COVID, cliche before poetry, health before sickness, effect before cause, symptoms after the party, Zoom cats after real cats, real people after Zoom people, books before language, Zoom cats in foreground after people in background, Venus before and after, venal before vengeful, Bark before divination, divination after the fact, tree before branch, moss before ice, flora after fauna, fauna before, before, hug before shaking hands, tremble before hug, answers before questions, potatoes before meat, tiny little notebook of before in the big book of after. So, yeah, domestic and uh, <laughs> ideas and simple ones and once yeah. the probably more more complicated, I guess, you know, before and after everything has changed. Everything has changed. And I think it's still hard for us to sometimes think in terms of time, you know, we think about years and months, right? So it's been one year since pandemic, a little plus, a little more than that. And I think a lot of us have this impression, okay, that's over. And now because mm -hmm. I'm vaccinated 
But yeah. you look at the global landscape, 6 billion people on a planet of 7.8 billion people have not even had one shot yet. And India is seeing this epic surge, which I, 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 I did a session on their first surge two or three a year ago. And the idea that like we're going to go back to the old clock <laughs> is something I question. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think we are. And I, I feel all vexed up and with nowhere to go, you know, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I like the, Re 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 Reggie, Reggie, what, how are you doing, man? Um, and what's on your musical mind? Oh, look at, oh my God, look, the hand, yeah, the no, hand. Give you the, give you the whole view here. Holy it's, uh, macro. It extends down yeah. and, uh, yeah, it's, um, it's been a little journey. Um, Speaking of time know. distortion, yeah, your, your, <laughs> clock, your clock stopped <laughs> you know, two months ago, but, your musical clock. Well, you know, in truth, it, it, it never really did. I just, um, mm. it was just painful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was used to singing in pain, uh, which, yeah. you know, I guess I should have switched to the blues <laughs> or something. Um, wow. No, man. You know, we, I just, I love the resonance of this. Uh, I just read this morning, um, quickly, uh, article in the Boston Globe that uh, <clears throat> the Republicans are having so much trouble with um, reality. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, they, they don't want to still believe that they lost in Georgia and they don't want to believe that, you know, and I just thought, you know, it's, it's so amazing that a reality star became president and yet he increased the inability to deal with reality. <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's um, an, it just, there's a song in there. <laughs> yeah, there is. <laughs> Matt, we may have to, uh, you know, co-write this. <laughs> as long as I don't have to mention his name. I'm... Oh, no, no, no. We don't have to go there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, well, I'm certainly uh, more appreciative of my ability to sing a cappella and, um, that has, uh, I did a, wow. a concert on Friday for a rotary group out in California. And um, the guy said, uh, you know, I went on your website and I saw all these beautiful songs with guitar and I thought, what's he gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> and he said, it was great. <laughs> well, of people have kind was. of been doing this for thousands of years. <laughs> <laughs> what an innovative concept. <laughs> I'm going to take credit, though. <laughs> you know, Reggie, we were talking a little bit about the Living Legacy Project earlier. and um, Oh, yeah. When you look at some of those old photos of people on the march, you don't see a single guitar. No. You know, it, it was all not, even a, not even a kazoo. No, not even know. a kazoo. It was all people singing. And you know, wow. all, you know, they used to gather in those, those mass meetings for hours. Not an instrument in sight, and just sing, sing, sing. And yeah. you know the power of that connection. You know, I mean, that's that really was what got me uh, grounded in the in the pandemic. Um, this uh, singing into the unknown, and you know, Pete obviously, you know, Pete really was the one who reconnected me with that, you know, childhood grounding because he was very subtle. I'm sure it was on purpose. But, you know, we were all songwriters trying to get our songs out there. And, you know, I was like, oh, listen to my new song. And I would, whenever I did a song that invited people in and, you know, often a cappella or encouraged people to sing, he'd always make a point of mentioning how wonderful it was. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I know that feeling. Yeah. <laughs> my, my, my mom, my mom, who was a uh, high school guidance counselor and read a lot of books of psychology. And she, she read some book in the seventies on uh, unlimited positive regard. Mm. Like this, this is something that a lot of psychologists uh, espouse. Great. <laughs> and you, you know, un, un, I love that concept of unlimited positive regard. <laughs> like, That's what? a great phrase. Um, wow. So anyway, so, so what is on your acapella, acapella mind this morning, Reggie? <laughs> song by Yara Allen, who is uh, the person who uh, t tours around with uh, Reverend William C. Barber. Mm -hmm. And uh, he, he was smart enough to know that um, gathering people, you want to have song. And uh, so she's his, uh, I, she has, has a title, I can't remember what it is, but it's, you know, song gatherer. And she had this wonderful song and, and I asked her how it came to be. And she said, you know, I got to a rally and and he was late as he always is. And um, she said, I was singing all the songs and then I, I got to a point and they told me he wouldn't be there for 10 more minutes. And I just said, um, I'll sing another song. And then she said, my mind went blank. And she said, I, I literally said, I'm gonna open my mouth and the first thing that comes out is gonna be what I sing, <laughs> you know, trusting. 
and she sings, Somebody's been hurting my brother, and it's gone on much too long. Yeah, it's gone on much too long. Well, it's gone on much too long. Well, somebody's been hurting my brother, and it's gone on much too long. And we won't be silent anymore. Well, somebody's been hurting my sister, and it's gone on much too long. Yeah, it's gone on on much too long well it's gone on much too long well somebody's been hurting my sister and it's gone on much too long and we won't be silent anymore well somebody's been hurting our children and it's gone on much too long well it's gone on much too long well it's gone on much too long well somebody's been hurting our children and it's gone on much too long and we won't be silent anymore now we've all been killing our planet and it's gone on much too long well it's gone on much too long well it's gone on much too long well we've all been killing our planet and it's gone on much too long and we won't be silent anymore well, somebody's been stealing our health care, and it's gone on much too long. Well, it's gone on much too long. Well, it's gone on much too long. Well, somebody's been stealing our health care, and that's gone on much too long. And we won't be silent anymore. Well, somebody's been hurting my brother, and it's gone on much too long. Well, it's gone on much too long. Yeah, it's gone on much too long. Well, somebody's been hurting my sister, and it's gone on much too long. And we won't be silent anymore. And we won't be silent anymore. No, we won't be silent anymore. Well, no, we you should just give me your guitar, Reggie. You don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> that will not be happening. <laughs> so that was beautiful. You know, I just sent a little message to you both in the in the private chat. I wonder if there's a tune you guys can do in, oh. a, call, in a call and response fashion. You know, oh, it's sure impossible to harmonize. Yeah. But I've done a couple of episodes here where, uh, like, two great guitarists. Uh, traded you know verse verses so what i don't know if any songs come to mind and and maybe reggie what, what's your impression of the living legacy project too uh, matt was talking about those those tours you've done uh, well uh, it's one of the things that has changed my life and it, it changed my life because i i went because i was invited to come and sing songs on the bus with about 40 people in 2010 and uh, i saw an opportunity to, you know, do something that certainly was part of my passion base, you know, talk about the civil rights movement and, and visit some of the places I hadn't gone because they were going some new places. But I went basically because they promised to pay me. <laughs> they mm -hmm. said, you know, come, it's a gig and, and for a week you earn this much. And, and I said, great. And by Wednesday, uh, going into places like Marion, Alabama, where Jimmy Lee Jackson was shot and going to Selma and 16th Street Baptist Church and Kelly Ingram Park and remembering those kids who uh, on the Children's Crusade were singing their heads off as they got fire hosed and and, you know, set on by dogs and going to, you know, Jackson, Mississippi and all those places. Uh, we went to uh, the old dilapidated play store where uh, Emmett Till, you know, encountered Carolyn Bryant. And I tell you that day, I called my agent that afternoon and I said, I know I told you I'd call you every day this week, but something's happening here. And uh, it was the stories. It was the stories and the songs of the people in those communities that were on the bridge on Bloody Sunday or were in the you know church on this night or whatever. Hearing them talk about not only the past, but hearing them talk about how the past energized them to keep working for, for justice. Um, it, it just completely transformed what I wanted to do with my my art. One of the things that makes that place, that, that whole tour different is it's really more like a pilgrimage because 
they've really carefully crafted relationships with people who could tell their real stories. That's what seemed, that's what made it different for me than any other kind of like tour you could go on, yeah. is that you really did meet the folks who were there and part of it. And I agree with Reggie, by Wednesday, I was not the same person that I was when we left on Sunday. There's just no, no question about it. We had so how, long, beautiful... how long ago, how long ago was that when you first spoke? <clears throat> Uh, actually, that was that was the last gig I had scheduled before the lights went out last year. I was on my I was literally on my way to do it, but I've done it twice. I think I've done it once in 2015, 2016, and I've done it three times. And I was about to do my fourth. You know, there was this beautiful moment in 2016. We uh, took a pilgrimage uh, to like 35 people um, two weeks after the election. And uh, and everybody who came was in a period, you know, state of devastation in some way, shape, or form. We had a state senator from Maine, and we had some, you know, uh, freedom workers from California. And we, and uh, but we went to the first church in Marion, Alabama, and um, and we had a group of people who were going to talk to the group, and uh, and they got up, they told their story, they told what was going on. We had the a, a 92 year old registrar of voting. So it was the first African American registrar, Mrs. Avery, wow. um, in in the state of Georgia. She told us some amazing stories about taking on the the state of uh, Alabama. And then we got to the end, and our, our our pilgrims got to ask questions. And one of them said, "You know, with the, the election of of Donald Trump and with where things are, how how do you think we're going to go on?" And they all looked at each other, <laughs> and the one woman turned. She said, "Oh, y'all think this is new." <laughs> <laughs> and uh you know and you know our group was mostly white you know mostly you know upper middle class you know people who had time to you know spend the money and go and uh and they said no honey we, we've been fighting this for 300 years so you know um we're just gonna keep on keeping on <laughs> wow <laughs> wow well that's, yeah. that's, that reminds me of what we were just talking about in context of like pandemic time there's there's also racial division time and if you're looking with too constrained a window, you, you can miss the big picture. It's a long journey. Yeah, it is. And, and that's why we're at the beginning of something, too, you know, that is going to be uh, big. I think as much as the news is telling us there's a crisis moment every minute, there's going to be uh, a movement now that is going to grow. Uh, it's just the beginning, again, of, a, you know, another civil rights movement. It's just the beginning again. I like that, Andre. That's mm -hmm. right. yeah. always the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> and the circle, it goes round and round. <laughs> so uh, what, what, what's a good musical? Uh, is there something you could do is sort of a back and forth thing or a reverse? Between us? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's a dicey situation doing this on computer. You, yeah. You well, then, just uh, no, no, no. Back, we can go back to Matt. Well, well, Matt, come up. Whatever's on your mind, and if you think there's a tradable verse, uh, <laughs> um, just wave yeah, your hands to Reggie. It just yeah. you just never know how it's going to work. It it can often sound like the worst happy birthday you ever sang around the kitchen yeah. table to your. That's right. Everybody's yeah. off key, and everybody's off. Uh, well, you know, you let, let me play for you the song that that. Uh, I, I probably, this is the song that's been getting the most attention of mine lately. And I think it's because I wrote it in 2017 when uh, I, I realized that half of my Facebook friends unfriended the other half of my Facebook oh. friends. And, uh, wow. And, and it, there's a real great tradition in the writing of, of folk songs to um, not make statements so much, but to ask questions, you know, and a lot of the songs that have endured, like blowing in the wind and you know, songs like that are really just questions, which are less confronting, I think. And so I ha sort of had that in, in mind when I wrote this one. I don't look like you. Is it deeper? Is it stronger? Something hidden, something true. If I stare a little longer, will I see myself in you? 
could you love me if I don't look like you? Could you love me if I don't think like you? Is it deeper? Is it stronger? Something hidden, something true. If I stare a little longer, will I see myself in you? Could you love me if I don't think like you? This life's a burning candle and it would be a shame if we ignored the difference between the smoke and the flame. Could you love me if I don't pray like you? Is it deeper? Is it stronger? Something hidden, something true. If I stare a little longer, will I see myself in you? Could you love me if I don't pray like you? This moment is a miracle, so why not find a way? to be here and be grateful that we share another day could you love me if i don't love like you is it deeper is it stronger something hidden something true if i stare a little longer will i find myself in you could you love me if I am not like you. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, I like that line. This this life's a burning candle, and it would be a shame if we couldn't see the difference between the smoke and smoke the flame. and the flame. Yeah, because yeah. there is a difference, right? Yes. <laughs> is, is the flame to me. You know that goes below everything else. That's where that's at the heart of things. Yeah. So uh, maybe Reggie, what what comes to mind building off of that? You know, um, well, it's coming you know into that uh, idea of. You know, um, idea of time and uh, and creating an invitation. I think that's that's what I've been really focused on. Uh, right. And um, and the folks you know who were kind of looking at their situation. That's one of the things I love about um, the spirituals is is that they they do several different things. They acknowledge where you are. They give you a little a chance to um, to kind of say how horrible it is. And then they say, okay, we're not going to live there. So where are we going? <laughs> and, uh, and then they kind of jet you. And so this was one of those aspirational songs that they, they came up with. It said, we're not where we want to be. Um, we see that there's a table there. And, uh, and uh, one day, one day, we're going to be sitting at that table. Um, and recognizing that, you know, because the other thing about this whole time is that we always believe in our, you know, I think in the goodness of our hearts that everybody wants the same thing. <laughs> and that all people want us all to be getting along. And I've been trying to point out, you know, in, in the shows that I do, and, and particularly the Deeper Than the Skin show that I'm doing with Greg Greenway, we just looked at each other once and we said, you know, we gotta remind people that there are people working on the other side that really don't want peace and justice and freedom. <laughs> and mm -hmm. And so, you know, the idea that we're just going to get to that place just because we want it. So they came up with a song that said, I'm going to sit at that welcome table. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. And then they, they popped the big word. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah is a, is a huge word in the African-American community. People just love saying it. And um, mm -hmm. I think they love to say it because it's a celebratory word because you got to celebrate those small steps or even, you know, overcoming the thing you just worked on. But then also it propels you into the future that, you know, we're going to celebrate when we get there. We don't know where there is. And I think that's the thing you all were talking about when I popped in. It's like, yeah. we have no idea where this is going. You know, as much as I'd like to say there's some normality creeping in. 
So the folks just saying, you know, I'm going to sit at the welcome table. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. Hallelujah. I'm going to sit at the welcome table. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. Well, now all God's children are going to sit together. Hey, hey, ho, ho. God's children are going to sit together one of these days. Hallelujah. All God's children are going to sit together. All God's children are going to sit together one of these days. You know there's food for all at the welcome table. There's food for all at the welcome table one of these days. Hallelujah. Food for all at the welcome table. Oh, food for all at the welcome table one of these days. Then they had a verse that basically they were calling people to their better angels to higher ground. But there was that whole sense that there was a justice in the universe that they were working forward and working with. So they sang this to the folks who didn't want it. I'm going to tell God how you treat me. I'm going to tell God how you treat me one of these days. Hallelujah. I'm going to tell God how you treat me. I'm going to tell God how you treat me one of these days. You know that I'm going to sit at the welcome table. I'm going to sit at the welcome table. One of these days, hallelujah, I'm going to sit at the welcome table. I'm going to sit at the welcome table one of these days. Wow. Wow. Well, I got to say, Reggie, I really love your guitar playing. <laughs> and I really hate that you broke your hand. But <laughs> put away the guitar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm, I'm really thrilled to put to, to bring in uh, Barbara Discant from Western New York State, um, who has been on the show a few times with a uh, a marvelous uh, accompanist who who's now scattered to somewhere else, Boston or somewhere. Uh, Barbara, how are you doing there? And just uh, you might be muted. Um, let, let's see if you are or not. Um, you might have to hit your own button. Up, oh, I think you're there. Maybe <laughs> no, you're Barbara. You're still. You're. We don't have you uh, live. Uh, let's try to double check your mic settings. And I do see Rick and Donna Nessler too. Oh. Cats Gillians. Maybe they should call themselves. You know, guys, could you call yourself the Cats Gillians, or is there already a Cats Gillian? <laughs> <laughs> you're also muted. Oh, let me see if I have to unmute. Um, you have to unmute your mic. Uh, Don I can Annie. do that. I know how to do that. Yeah, I, I learned. But I sound so, we, so good on mute. <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. She's here all week, folks. She's here all week. <laughs> and, and, um, and Barbara, you're still, we can't hear you for some reason, Barbara. You might want to try to cut out and come back in. Sometimes that helps. Let's see if we can uh, fix that. <sighs> Um, we'll hear, we'll, we'll try to check in with Barbara in a few minutes. Um, but good morning, Catskills. Good morning, Helderbergs. <laughs> did I get it right, Reggie? You certainly did. I'm, I'm stunned. <laughs> it's not the I'm always stuck in the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Hey, <laughs> yeah, those, those high Heisenbergs can be very steep. Yeah. Yeah. And Andre, where are you? Are you back in New York City or are you? Uh, yeah, I'm you? going to say goodbye soon. I'm, I'm in Brooklyn and uh, oh, wow. we went to North Carolina for a few days. And that was a whole, that, just three days ago, but it seems like it's been a hundred years. And now it's been a hundred years since I came back. So to speaking of time, I really don't have that uh, mechanism, you know, to tell where we are. But it was so wonderful seeing everybody and so much love coming out of uh, all of you. And Reggie, wow, all of you. Right back at bye you. Bye. Thanks, yeah. Okay, bye. We're gonna try Barbara one more time and see. Let's see, Barbara, can you hear? <coughs> no, you're still, 
it's something about your mic um, because the setting here is uh, unmuted, but let's see if we can figure that out. Uh, I'm gonna. Did she choose her, her mic? I'm gonna. She'll have to come back in. It's I I, I think. Um, well, we'll figure it out. Whoops! And Andre just vanished too into the ether. Yeah, he said goodbye. Oh, he did. Okay. Yeah, I was he so said he had to do Barbara. Yeah, he said he had to go do something. I still want to uh, show his. There was a documentary about this tour of America he did in a car right after he got over from Europe. I think it was in the. Well, it wasn't in the '60s, but it was like in the '70s. Where, can you imagine a road trip with Andre Kardescu through like uh, <laughs> Chattanooga? There's a book. <laughs> yeah, I know. Or, or a really good documentary. It yeah, exists yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Oh, so, cool. so, so Rick and Donna, and Donna, you don't play with your leg. Uh, so, uh, but it's good to have. I know it did destabilize you at one point. Oh, oh, here we oh, go. Let's see. Here we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ta-da! That's great. Right. You can stand. Unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. So what's on your musical minds this morning out there? Um, Union Maid. Okay. He, he just told me what's on my mind. <laughs> Union Maid. <laughs> well, we you heard, guys are talking we heard. about Pete. And we, our, the last gig we were scheduled to do was for our local library. It was with Pete Seeger. Uh, <clears throat> tribute or whatever retrospect uh. so uh we contacted the library again because they're starting to look at maybe getting more live things rather than zoom things and so we started to practice <laughs> novel idea oh my Ooh. god <laughs> but not enough to hurt our plane <laughs> One. i love you all <laughs> And the gangs and the company things and the deputy sheriffs who made the grief. She went to the union hall when a meeting it was called. And when the company guard came around, she always stood her ground. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union till the day I die. Tricks of the company spies. She'd never be fooled by the company store. She always organized the guys. She always got her way when she tried the National Guard. And this is what she'd say Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. I'm sticking to the union. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sticking to the union. I'm 
sick of the union. I'm sick of the union. All oh, you can't scare me. I'm sick of the union. I'm sick of the union. Till the day I die. Here's my rebuttal. Women who want to be free, just take a little tip from me. Step out of that mold, we've all been sold. You've got a fighting first to read. It's right with workers must unite like Mother Jones, Mr. Depp goes to the front of every fight. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sick of the union. I'm sick of the union. I'm sick of the union. Oh, you can't scare me. I'm sick of the union. I'm sick of the union till the day I die. So to Rick's defense, that's the first, uh, like, we just started doing the, the original verse, and, which makes gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, it definitely got me, so. Wow. Well, that's a, that's a nice wake-up call on a Sunday morning. And uh, the call and response and some of that tension is really fun. Fun <laughs> tension. <laughs> you, you guys are good at that, actually. <laughs> Now, welcome to our lives. <laughs> so the boat is afloat? <gasps> yes, she's at her mooring. Wow. All lonesome. But I'm standing. Well, I'm yeah, walking. We'll see, a little soon bit. we'll have a, uh, a ship born um, live view of you. That'd be great. Well, I'm planning to have you down there, too. I'd love it. So uh, Ray Pierre Humbert, uh, great thought... climate scientist and Ox Oxford-based uh, accordion player now too, a uh, long time mm -hmm. accordion player is with us. How are you, Ray? Oh, I'm just fine. It's a beautiful day here. I just got back from a bike ride. Oh, great. And, and again, Barbara, let's see if we can get you, uh, your signal worked out. Can you say something? Oh no. Barbara, <laughs> I wonder if there's a way to, uh, it might be something about the mic. Uh, your in your, your, um, mic choice. Might I be think off. I might've done it. Oh, you're can there. you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Good morning to you. It's a little, I'm getting a lag. The Are test says it works. Yes, it does. But it's a, there's a very bad lag, uh, like a delay. Um, yep. Good morning. Can you, Barbara, can you play something while, while we've got you? I am too. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm. Let's see. I hold on. I think I might be on. Hold on. I'm going to turn something off. Okay. I'm going to. I see that. Well, I'm going to say bye and run. Oh, Goodbye, Reggie. Reggie. I got to go. Keep healing, Reggie. I will. I will. How big is the lag? Love you. Well, hold on, Re Reggie. Great, great to see you again. Stay well. And uh, Matt and Reggie uh, and Matt, man, oh, you got to come big... back any Sunday. I'd love to. Maybe uh, next time it says, I just realized my name says first try. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to figure that out. <laughs> so I don't know I, if that's your, like, is that a band or is that? <laughs> I just, you, don't, you don't get your name on there till you come back to oh, second. Oh, no, I can't hear oh. anybody. <laughs> but I would love to. I love what you're doing, Andy. This is a great, great thing. Well, I, it, 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 it's fun. Let's put it that way. And I, hopefully it's, it's spreading vi good vibes more than bad vibes. It's a it's great thing. <laughs> good. Bye, all. Take care, Reggie. Come back soon. Um, yeah, Barbara, I, I think that's just a really long lag. I'm not quite sure why. If Barbara, if you could just play a tune, that'd be awesome. And we'll all, so it's over to you if you can play a tune. Let's see if that works. I'm so sorry about causing this problem. It's yeah, okay. Actually, it's fine. Uh, when it comes through over to here, there's no Still lag. I'm not seeing any lag at all. Just play, Barbara. I can't hear you either at this point. Sure. Play. Can you hear oh, me? that worked. Okay. Yep. This is a tune that I wrote called, it's a dance tune, really. So if you all want to get up and dance, go for it. Okay. It's called Find Ourselves in the Music. And I want to give a shout out to my lovely daughter, Nadine, who is not here right now. And I'm realizing what it's like to have to do my own sound all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go. Is that about right? Okay. It's 
called Find Ourselves. And if you guys want to get up and dance wherever you are, go for it. <laughs> Sometimes I've been feeling sad So much in the world is going bad Sometimes it feels like hope is gone Could lose the will to carry on Time to find ourselves with the music Find ourselves with the music now Find ourselves with the music And it keeps us moving on People in the world know the power of song When they dance and sing along They sing when they get their battles done Power to the people, that's everyone They find themselves with the music Find themselves with the music now Find themselves with the music And it keeps us moving on We shall not be moved, we shall overcome Joy to the world, here comes the sun Woke up this morning, feel real fine This little light is gonna shine, shine, shine We'll find ourselves with the music Sing along with the music Get up and dance with the music And it keeps us moving on We shall not be moved, we shall overcome Joy to the world, here comes the sun Woke up this morning, feel real fine This little light is gonna shine, shine, shine Nos hallaremos con la música Bailamos con la música Cantamos con la música A todo el mundo le gusta Find ourselves in the music Find ourselves with the music now Find ourselves with the music And it keeps us moving on Smart. Find ourselves with the music. Find themselves with the music. Find ourselves with the music, and it keeps us moving on. Thank you. It was great. It worked great. I'm I can't sure. dance yet. I still have a how broken you, leg. How do I hear you? <laughs> uh, we I'm... hear we hear you. I don't know. There's some issue, but that was fantastic. It was fantastic. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Um, let me just do one thing here. Figure it out. 
Barbara was great. We'll we'll have you back on soon and figure out the uh, the audio. Uh, Ray over in Oxford, uh, you told me something. It, you told us all in an email today that um, it's World Nickel Harba Day. Yep. Yep. And, uh, I had recently had on Lindsay Clark, a fantastic nickel harpa player from right here where I live in the in the well, actually in Connecticut. But I want to make sure everyone knows what a special day it is. <laughs> and the nickel harp, I'm just going to show. Um, for those who have not seen one, it's it's basically in Swedish, I guess. It means keyed violin or keyed harp. And uh, the key keys are these. It's like an amazing amalgam of all kinds of things. It has all these sympathetic strings that create astonishing volumes and sonorities. And I wouldn't know that it was nickel harp today if it weren't for a pair of merits. So thank you for that. <laughs> Among other things, I'm going to play a couple of things from the internet. Three, four hours of, yeah, good, yeah, do that. But but I'd like to hear from yeah, you. Yeah, that's first, 24 uh, hours of world worldwide nickel harpa things. Oh sure, yeah. It's unbelievable yeah. to think of what's. Yeah, that but in fact, I've been uh, I've been. Yeah, the uh, yeah the so um, yeah the, the 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 one some of the activities on world nickel. I don't play nickel harpa myself, but I, I play. Uh, along with a lot of nickel harpa players, uh, uh, and uh, and one of the fun activities that World Nickel Harpa Day has is is that they post these guide tracks, uh, and then everybody around the world can play along with them with whatever inf instrument they want, and then people trade tracks and put them together. So I I spent part of today uh, uh, you know, just just. Uh, uh, Playing along with some of their live stuff uh, and uh, some of their guide tracks, uh, but it, it'll be it'll be a couple of weeks before I actually get some mixes together with Nickel Harper and Accordion on the two uh, two uh, uh, tunes they're doing uh, for this this year: uh, the uh, long long dance from Binkhu and uh, and Clock Stop of Vals. But I'm not going to do those do those today. So, so I mean, last last week. I saw in the comments that Donna was wondering what accordion I was going to bring out, but but then I I, I disappointed her by by not bringing out an accordion at all. So I felt like I really had to jump in and make up for it. And I'm bringing out the little the little Giordi melodian. So um, uh, uh, a melodian. What makes a melodian a melodian is that you get a different note pushing and pulling, and you get uh, on the, the standard sort of melodian you get you get two rows. Uh, uh, with one uh, with one uh, one key in each row. So this one is C G, which is good for Frenchy sort of music. Uh, more English ones are more commonly D G. And then uh, so there's there's my there's my G row and there's my C row. And you can get a, get one accidental on this uh, with by by playing between the two the two rows, but but not not too many. And then you get a, a, a rather limited number of chords. On the uh, uh, bass and chords on the on the other side. And this is probably the smallest melodian made, uh, and I got it for backpacking and things like that. But as it turns out, I, I use it a lot for mostly. I use it for our our Morris dancing because if you're moving around a lot, I don't. I mean, don't, I don't play it while I'm dancing. But but if you're moving around a lot, uh, as the dancers are, are going here and there or standing up a long time, uh, or, or going from one pub to the next, uh, it's really. Uh, it's really nice. So, so these are really good. Um, okay, so here we go. So, the, so I'm going to do two short tunes. Uh, one slow air called Inishir, and uh, and uh, then uh, one of our Mars tunes, Constant Billy, right after that. So here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> free read, that free read. Great. I love those little trilly uh, moments you do uh, just kind of. Oh, uh, that's that's uh, the huge advantage of the melodian. You you um, yeah you you can't um, uh, you can't do that on a um, on a chromatic accordion. So. Wow, I think we have Barbara back fully two dimensionally. I think she can hear us and we can hear her. Barbara, that sounds can you hear? good. I made a stupid. Yeah. I really respect sound people. That was a stupid mistake when I was doing my sound test. I turned off my computer speaker and didn't realize that was also turning off my headphones. So finally, Nadine texted me and I she, she rescued me again. Maybe next That's time great. I'll actually be able to do this right by myself. Boy, do I respect people for sound. Well, we'll have to get Nadine back on too. Um... When that's possible. Oh, she, that was... she said she will go back on. At least you got to hear what I do with, with by myself. I guess my other identity is as a sort of topical songwriter and rabble rouser. Like the I, I like sort that. Of a that loving rabble. great. I, thanks. I consider myself a loving rabble rouser, I guess, like most everyone else here. That's great. Speaking of loving rabble rousers, uh, hey, Mr. First Try. <laughs> <laughs> do you have another song? You first. <laughs> Are you, by the way, are you still active on Twitter? I saw you had a Twitter account, but it doesn't look very. You know, I have not really done much on Twitter, to be honest with you. Um, I, I don't know. I, I just don't, I don't think any of this is going to catch on. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you mean it is too late to teach an old dog a new trick? It that, might be. <laughs> uh, so what, so uh, what do you have in mind for maybe a final tune for this? Yeah, moment? I will sing one more song. And again, thank you so much, Andy, for having me for this. Uh, it's great to see uh, some familiar faces. I've, I think I've read, met Rick and Donna either at the Walkabout Coffee House or at uh, NERFA, and it's nice Surely. to see them. And uh, Barbara, I don't know that I've met you before, but it certainly is good to hear you sing. And Ray, I enjoyed that uh, melodia a lot. That's great. Um, you know, maybe because of uh, what you do, Andy, what you've devoted much of your life to, I'll sing a song that sort of reminds me of the importance of uh, of, of coming to action for our for our earth. And this was written by a, a lovely singer from Asheville, North Carolina, by the name of uh, Sarah Lynch Thomason, a young woman who uh, loves traditional music, but writes songs in the tradition as well. And this is a, an acapella piece by hers that I absolutely love because it has hope and it's written by a young person. And it goes like this. There are more waters rising, this I know, this I know, there are more Waters rising, this I know. There are more waters rising, they will find their way to me. There are more waters rising, this I know, this I know. There are more waters rising, this I know. There are more fires burning, this I know, this I know. There are more fires burning the sino there are more fires burning they will find their way to me there are more fires burning the sino the sino there are more fires burning the sino there are more mountains falling the sino the sino there are more Mountains falling, the I know. There are more mountains falling, they will find their way to me. There are more mountains falling, the I know. The I know. There are more mountains falling, the I know. I will wade through the water, the I know. The I know. I will wade through the water, the I know. I will wade through the water when they find their way to me. I will wade through the water, the I know, the I know. I will wade through the water, the I know. I will walk through the fire, the I know, the I know. I will walk. Through the fire, the I know. I will walk through the fire when they find their way to me. I will walk through the fire, the I know. The I know. I will walk through the fire, the I know. 
I will rebuild the mountain, this I know, this I know. I will rebuild the mountain, this I know. I will rebuild the mountain when they find their way to me. I will rebuild the mountain, this I know, this I know. I will rebuild the mountain, this I know. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> we are it's all in, doesn't it? Yeah. I just Everybody, I sure appreciate this time with you. Well, we you don't need the guitar the either. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. The, some of Pete Seeger's best songs uh, could be done guitarless. Yeah. Great. Great tune. I'll have to look her up. Um, and, um, of course, the, that part of North Carolina also has the uh, National Center for Climate. Uh, that's the NCDC, National Center for Climatic Data, is right in Asheville, too. So there's a climate center there. That's a great town, you know, in, yeah. in those mount those mountains right next to Asheville up in, in uh, Madison County, are there still exists seven generations of ballad singers, for the people who have learned ballads from uh, literally at the feet of their grandparents and their grandparents. It's a, it's quite an amazing place to visit. Wow. Well, thanks for being here today. My uh, pleasure, you guys. Thank you so much. And Barbara, now that we have you back um, uh, in a two-way dial, a two-way version, uh, do you have another tune you could share? I, I guess so. This is a different, it would be a different variety. I live in Western New York State and they joke, they think they, you know, we fought off the biggest land fillies to the Mississippi, not for our waste, for waste from other places. We, they try to keep sticking nuclear dumps on us and pipelines on us. And of course, the Senecas are here. And of course, it's going to affect them as well, disproportionately. Mm -hmm. And I work with a group called Defend Ohio. Ohio is the Seneca name for the um, oh, um, Allegheny River that we, we work trying to defend it. And we, all I could say is every now and then we get a goal, but basically our hands are full. We're fighting off the Northern Excess Pipeline right now, which actually New York State, after we made a major campaign, denied the permit. And FERC, the federal agency, agency under Trump, overrode New York State and said it's going to be because it's in the national interest for mm -hmm. national fuel to take frack gas and sell it to Canada and Europe and make a profit, and this is somehow in our national interest. So they're trying to take people's land right now for it. And anyway, thank you very much for putting that up, by the way. We have the um, Defend Ohio, which is a web, which is a Facebook group, and yeah. other ways to find out about what's going on, the No Napo Coalition. So I wrote this song originally to be sung a cappella at a workshop that St. Energy put on for us on nonviolent protest, and while we hope it doesn't go there, it may. And I afterward, being a pianist, since my, I consider my piano my other voice, of course, I had to stick some piano with it too. So this Great. is called Big Black Snake. Sorry about the explanation. It's like people don't always know what's That's going fine. on. No, this is invaluable. The, the Western thing of New York State. And people from here also went to help out at the Dakota Access pipeline fight. So we, you know, there's a lot of solidarity and I hope, feel like we're going to have solidarity if this one hopefully comes out. Do I have to mute my, do I push any buttons or am I okay? Good. You're all good. Thank you for forgiving me, by the way, for my, um, are you kidding? Really <laughs> stupid mistakes on the technical. <laughs> A big black snake, a big black snake, crawling out of Pennsylvania toward New York State. A hundred miles long, two feet wide, poison for profits, what it carries inside. Northern Access Pipeline, if it brings in the money, it suits them just fine. Poison the water, poison the air, national feud does not care, but we do. We can't let it go through. If we care about life, it better not go through. If water is life, it better not go through. New York 
York State said the pipeline can't be, but the feds overruled the state's authority and gave national fuel eminent domain to steal people's land for corporate gain. Northern Access Pipeline, if it brings in the money, it suits them just fine. Poison the water, poison the air, national feud does not care. But we do, we can't let it go through. If we care about life, it better not go through. If water is life, it better not go through. Big black snake, a big black snake crawling out of Pennsylvania toward New York State. A hundred miles long, two feet wide, poison for profits, what it carries inside. Northern Access Pipeline, if it brings them the money, it suits them just fine. Poison the water, poison the air, national feud does not care. But we do. We can't let it go through. If we care about life, we can't let it go through. If water is life, it better not go through. That's Thank great. you. <laughs> Thank you. It's it's good tune. It's it's there's quite a lot of people. I sort of feel the piano mood sort of representing the juxtaposition toward the harshness of the drilling, and this the mm. beauty of the water. And I guess that's sort of what I'm hoping comes through that we can't allow that drilling to disturb it, and the life of the people, the animals that are dependent on it. Yeah, and these these issues around uh, what's in the national interest um, get tough. Uh, the federal preemption. Uh, there there are issues that even will relate to clean energy that might have some of the same dynamics. Uh, uh, getting power, more power distributed renewable power will require lots more wires and and the like too. So these are tough issues, and that one's well. Let's check in and see how it's going. If we can do anything to. Spread the word. We're, that's what I'm here for. Thank you. Well, thank you so much. I, the same with things that are coming up in your area. I think working together makes a difference. And I'm honored to be on this show. Thank you. Yeah. Good to have you on. And Nadine, again, let's, let's try to get that duo thing going, <laughs> even from a distance. Um, I'm trying to. She, she's she's going to do it. She said she could this weekend didn't work out, but she and her, she has, and I hope she's listening, 
that she did, you know, if this, I, we're hoping she'll come on and she did say that she's hoping to plan, she's planning. And, and how, how's it going on the farm? What are they picking this week? I don't know. Well, that would be Nadine. I'm not. I, I, I don't oh, know right. Oh, yeah. That's what I was wondering. Yeah. 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 But well, they are, what well. they're doing is they're transplanting. Yeah. She died. Nadine told me that they're mm -hmm. doing transplanting right now. Makes sense. And doing a lot of hard work because they feed 400 families and mm -hmm. also make contributions to local food banks and pantries and those things. That's fantastic. Where Where is that again? Where is she? She's in, well, the job where she's working at Waltham Community. I, I think the right name is Waltham Community Fields. And Nadine may be listening and cringing if I got it slightly wrong. And I she's remember living showing, in Watertown. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good. And she's also living in Watertown two miles away with another lovely musician, woman friend who she went to college with, who they, they'll, they'll probably share together, I hope. I can't legislate, but I hope they do. And in the meantime, <laughs> I'm over here. <laughs> I'm, right. I'm meantime, I'm over here, you know, trying to do the best I can with my own music and make a difference in the world. Well, you're doing that. Um, I'm going to just show you um, on May 2nd, Sunday, May 2nd, there's a, there's, we're going to have a, a virtual and face-to-face -face musical day. Finally, I'll be at my first face-to-face -face show uh, in Putnam Valley at the, uh, Tompkins Corners Cultural Center, formerly a church, uh, celebrating right around Pete Seeger's birthday. Um, and mm -hmm. the, in the morning, this show will be uh, on May 2nd, will be devoted to uh, Seeger songs. So that'll be a great Ooh. event, May 2nd. Can't wait. But here we are at the tail end of this morning into the afternoon here in the East Coast now. And uh, so if there's any, maybe a last song from uh, the Nestlers and a quickie from Ray, uh, some kind of, that would be great. And then yeah. on, I am going to show at the very end a little bit of the, uh, the worldwide phenomenon of Nickel Harpa. I'll, I'll show some, some videos of that. Oh, Nickel Harpa is a beautiful instrument. I just mm. love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. So thanks uh, for being part of the show again. So Rick and Donna, what's, what's on your musical mind uh, going off? I, I got distracted day? during Barbara's, song because we had a coyote beautiful coyote wander through the backyard towards the swamp cool. so and earlier this week we had a porking bite but that has nothing to do with the song go ahead rick <laughs> this is a song that uh, i wrote for little red lighthouse under the great gray bridge <laughs> Point on a little slip of land Underneath the great gray bridge Little red lighthouse stands Brought up from New Jersey Many years ago Point out to the mariners Where they should not go For the rocks off Jeffrey's Sun Cannot always be seen They'll rip the keel right from your hull They'll open up your sea Fabricated from cast iron, it was built to last. Through summer's sweltering, shimmering heat, winter's icy blast. Through the dark, the fog, the rain, the snow, its moonlit did shine bright. Now the shutter's windowed and the door is locked up tight. But the river channels marked by the lights hang from the roadway. There's no need for Jeffrey's hook to cast its stone today. From Sandy Hook to Jeffrey's Hook, it served its purpose well. How many vessels it did save, there is no way to tell. Though she is no longer an aid to navigation, it can still be used as an aid to education. The winners of this life cannot always be seen. By saving our history, we see where we have been. There's a lesson in this for all of us who've seen our labors end. Remember there's another job waiting around the bend. 
Remember, you may no longer have the job you used to do. Remember, knowledge you possess can be passed on to quite a few. Remember, channels mark my legs and anchor. Wait, saving our history, we bring us to today. Thank you, Rick and Donna. Thank you. Always fun. It's a squeeze okay, box. Okay, Ray, what's the difference between a diatonic but an accordion and melodeon? Oh, and it's the same thing. Good, yeah. thank you. It's just another, it's just another, just another name for it. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh boy, I wish I could have been there playing with you. It, that, that's a song that fits yeah. on my G row just, just perfectly. Uh -huh. It sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not Actually, does your concertina do the same note, pushing and pulling, or is it? Uh, no, it's a diatonic. Or, it's a it's diatonic, diatonic too. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to play. It'd be like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So Ray, is there another tune in you before we? Yeah, uh, I'll do. Uh, I'll do a sort of a truncated version of, of Pride of Petrovor, and, and Petrovor sounds like you know rock eater or something like that. But it actually it's a made up place in uh, Ireland, uh, where 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 uh, there's a beautiful young woman called, who's known as the Pride of Petrovor. It's got great lyrics, but uh, but I won't do them. But yeah, here we go. <laughs> What a cool tone. Yeah. But thank you all for being part of this morning, this very special uh, morning. We went from uh, talking about uh, measuring eels in the Hudson River with Patrick Jones to Joseph Pupe, who came in from Lusaka, Zambia at the very beginning, did a beautiful version of a Pete Seeger song. Karen Brooks showed us her sheep. The Nestlers. Yes? Um, yes, ma'am. The, the Elting Library, I think it's the name of it in New Paltz, is doing a thing on American Eels at two o'clock today. It's Great. via Zoom. So if anybody wants to do it, if we're going. Post, on Facebook, maybe post any kind of information about it on the, okay. uh, the thread around this show. That'd be great. Good to see you both. Um, I think the snow is probably finally off the ground, maybe nearly all. And uh, yeah. it's all gone. Barb. Barbara, good luck with the local fights there. Um, really important. And, and I just loved even bringing up the the original name, Ohio, of that region. Um, it reminds me of the work I've been trying to do to normalize everyone being aware of the Indian, the Native American landscape beneath us. Uh, there's a website called nativelands.ca. It's native-land.ca. That's basically Google Maps for history. And you can look up the uh, the uh, texture and subtext of where you, wherever you are. I'm in Lenape, 
territory here in the Hudson Valley. Uh, thank you all again. And I, now you can hang in there, but I'm going to show you a couple of things off the uh, the internet here. Um, don't go away if you want to learn a bit more about World Nickel Harpa Day today. So Just in case in you miss you. Say hi to Lisa for me, Andy. I will. So here's over in uh, Tokyo, part of this 24-hour celebration of this instrument that comes from Scandinavia. There's uh, there's the uh, Scandi Session dot Tokyo is a Scandinavian instrument uh, and music um, association in that city. But all it just just you look at go on Twitter or whatever feed you're on and look for the hashtag World Nickel Harp a Day, and you'll learn something and listen to an instrument that I find extraordinary. Um, years and years ago, the at the New York Times, I wrote an article about global bluegrass. There, there's bluegrass everywhere in the world, from Eastern Europe to uh, Asia. Uh, but here, so here now, let's take you to Tokyo. Uh, hold on a second. I'm going to go do this, this, Chrome tab, share audio, Tokyo Scandi Sessions. So here we go. This was uh, recorded just a little while ago. And let's give a listen. あの、<笑> So they're playing along silently with Vicky Swan. Six, same as one and two. So this is bar five, <laughs> six. So now we do the ending. So we have C, A. So it is a scale C, A, again, three, four. So I'll scroll forward here to a performance. So wherever you are, wherever you are on this fast forward planet, I hope you have a good World Nickel Harper Day today, just as you had a good Earth Day last week. And go forward in every day and find some part of it that you can make a bit of a difference on. Especially connecting through music. This is the Earth Institute Columbia Climate School Sunday Sanity edition of our Sustain What webcast. You can find me, get in touch for future shows by looking at that little distracting scrolling bar at the bottom for information. Bravo. <laughs> I didn't like that. 
がとうございました。握手が難しい。わかります。ありがとうございました。ケイトちゃんでした。はい。